All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Next Time in Power. So the title of this video is What Has Bodybuilding Become? So the reason I'm making this video is because most of you guys know and love my channel for being kind of a classic bodybuilding, classic physique, um, paying homage to the history of bodybuilding where these bodybuilders had great aesthetics, um, they had great lines, great proportions, and bodybuilding was about looking good. But it seems somewhere along the line, you know, the ideal kind of got lost. This ideal of being aesthetic, this ideal of having good lines, and it really kind of transformed into something that's just really just kind of monstrous. So the guy that you're looking at in these photos, and this was the guy in the thumbnail as well, this guy's name is Kenny O'Neill. You guys may remember him as the synthol guy or synthol shoulder guy. He competed at a show in Canada probably about a year ago now, and he got on stage, and his upper body was just, it just looked like he was wearing shoulder pads. And I think he claimed the reason for this was an infection in the shoulder. So I think we all know there's definitely some kind of site enhancement oil which caused the infection, if there was an infection at all, or if he just had some horribly, horribly uh, distorted um, perception of what he was doing to his shoulders, and he got on stage and realized he looked like a clown. But my point in including this guy in this video wasn't to call him out. It wasn't to hate on him. It was to point out that this is happening all the time in bodybuilding today. Just because it went wrong with this guy and we can clearly see that he's using some kind of sight enhancing oil, um, that doesn't mean that there's not other guys using it. In fact, probably 99% of the top 10 pros at the Mr. Olympia have used some kind of sight enhancement oil or another. So the point that I'm getting at is why do we feel or why do these bodybuilders feel like this is necessary to do? You didn't see bodybuilders like Mike Menser, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Frank Zane, Boyer Co., Lou Ferrigno. You didn't see any of these guys back in the 70s or 80s even um, doing this to their bodies. They didn't feel the need to make fake muscle. Um, they, they, they didn't feel so insecure about their muscle that they needed to inject oil and plastic and just all kinds of synthetic substances to make their muscle appear like something that it's not. So it's like, when did we get to this point where these guys are so focused on being big and so focused on being something that they're not, that they're injecting stuff into their bodies, their stomachs are, you know, they're blown out, they're eating too much, they're taking too many drugs, um, they, just look, they just look ridiculous on stage. And again, I didn't mean to call out this Kenny O'Neill guy. There's plenty of other guys that are doing this. I'm showing you guys some photos of some other guys here now. Um, there's plenty of guys that use synthol. There's plenty of guys that use various different kinds of sight enhancement oils. Um, I would be shocked if Phil Heath wasn't using all kinds of stuff on his delts, his triceps, his, his biceps, just the way that his arms are shaped. Um, it's just not. It, it's just not natural. So the whole point in me making this video is to say, hey, we noticed this, we don't like this, and you guys don't have to do this. I mean, the fans have a voice. These pros, these judges, these people behind the scenes watch these YouTube videos and they watch the fan reactions. They see what people are talking about online. And if we say, hey, this is stupid, we don't like this, this isn't the ideal that we want for bodybuilding, these guys will stop doing it. If we call this out and we call bullshit when we see it, they're not going to keep loading themselves up with oil and they're going to realize they look stupid because I think the problem is these guys doing this, they don't they don't think it looks stupid. They look at themselves in the mirror and they think they look like a beast. No one would get on stage looking like that if they knew it looked stupid. Deep down, they think they look good like that. So we need to say, we need to point this out in videos. We need to put it out there and say, hey, we don't like this. We don't like this look. We don't want this look. We want to get back to the classic ideal. And luckily, I think they're doing that now with classic physique. And we're going to get back to seeing some really good physiques on the Olympia stage. And I definitely look forward to that. But in the meantime, that's what we can do with these media platforms. You guys do have a voice. The fans have a voice. Um, and you guys can tell these bodybuilders what you do and don't like to see. And if you don't want to see these guys loaded up with oil, you can voice your opinion and share videos like this saying this is not what we want to see. So give this video a thumbs up if you agree with what I'm saying. Thank you guys for watching. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.